So this is the second part of our video, and we've just been speaking uh, with uh, CSI about going up to uh, backwards and forwards to Kobo, which is some 20 hours away. So what happened then? How did you find Rick Hodes? Say again? How did you find Rick Hodes? How did you come across Dr. Rick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dr. Rick, uh, I think uh, as uh, going to many hospitals, in alert, in beta, beta zata, yes. you cut it uh, as Rahulet, and uh, international, international health hospital, yes, and uh, a Brook, Brook Hospital. Okay. And, and international clinical laboratory. And did none of these places help you? Uh, they try to, uh, what is the, what's happened, they try to, but they cannot treat him yes. because of uh, lack of uh, expertise and uh, ex skill. Experience and, yes, and yes. Uh, skill and also uh, medical apparatus. Yes, yes. So how did you find Rick then? Yeah, I would find Rick in a this kilo, uh, he was uh, working in uh, Mother Teresa. Mother compound. Teresa orphanage. Yeah, yes. orphanage compound. Okay. So when uh, I pa pass by by that street, street yes, uh, I see information. Very good. So good. I I asked for him. Yes. Would you help me? So he he was happy. Okay. Uh, so let's say he helps. And a decision is made to send uh, Brahano to the United States. So what happened then? Did they send um, a message to you? You brought him down and off he went to the States. Did he have to stay in Mother Teresa's for a few weeks waiting on a visa? Is that, was, was, were, were Mother Teresa involved in some way? Yeah, we was renting bed. Yes. We pay 50 birds per day. Okay. And uh, actually, we lost uh, 100, more than 100 birds. Yes. Uh, for meal, for breakfast, for yes. transportation. Yes. And extra, extra meals. So, uh, I think uh, uh, it was difficult because of, uh, there, is, uh, there is no, our relatives in Addis. Yes. So the last day uh, he was uh, staying in yes. Mother Teresa orphanage. And I think there was a delay getting his visa as well. And uh, so how did you feel then when he disappeared and was gone for about six months? But uh, yeah, it was difficult. I'm not... Uh, I, uh, it was difficult to believe. I think uh, he was <laughs> dead, I think. <laughs> Yes, you know, as if he died and no one was telling you. Yeah, but uh, thanks for God. Yes, uh, and good. and so how did you see the picture? Did Rick send his Berhanu oh. up with pictures? Oh, that made uh, very very great happy for me and yes. for for my family. Yes, also my family also was uh, where my obstacles great. They made great obstacles for me because of. Yes. They did not believe. Yes. They did not believe. Uh, it is a natural gift. He cannot treat me, they say. But yes. I believe uh, because of there is uh, uh, modernized equipment in America. Yes. And a special uh, doctor. Uh, so already I did for Dr. Rick. Yes. So Dr. Rick transferred to, uh, to the United States. Good. Then he get a good treat, uh, medical treatment. Yes. So how do you feel about the change in him? Because you sent him to the United States and he was you know, quite badly twisted and bent over and he's came back a different child. So how do you feel about the change in him? Yeah, I think uh, I'm very happy uh, because uh, he will uh, treat uh, very good. In futurely, so he gets a good, also he gets a, a good medical treatment. Yes. So it is good. Okay. 
So we've spent the week organising uh, visas to return both him and his sister back to the States. He'll continue with physiotherapy. He will continue with the treatment for his hand. At some point in the maybe mid to long term, depending on Dr Skaggs and the surgeons, he may have more surgery uh, because he will only grow above and below the steel work that's in his back. Now, we're going to take him for this first period as uh, someone on a medical visa, and that's going to give us time to become US citizens and then adopt the child. So as we adopt these children, I mean, how do you feel? How does that, I know we've had many conversations, but from a wife especially, if he had a mum and a dad, we would have done our little bit with mending kids. We would have fostered them. We would have helped repair them and sent them back to their parents. But we've fallen in love with him and we didn't really see her until I came off the plane and we've fallen in love with her as well. Uh, however, because they're coming back to no parents and with his arm he will never work a plough, he'll never be able to control an ox, a man with one arm. So how do you feel about this whole situation that's went from being the child being repaired to now potentially they're going to be adopted and live in the US? How do you feel about that? I think I'm happy because of uh, living in America is uh, very best than Ethiopia. Uh, they can uh, treat uh, well and they can get their education uh, well. Uh, so it is uh, good because uh, if they if they live here, they cannot like this. They cannot get like this, like this chance. Yes. Uh, for medical treatment, for education, any other extra <laughs> life city. Now we're going to keep their names the same, and just add nickel on at the end. And we're inviting you to come over when school is finished in the month of June and see their uh, house where they're living, see their lifestyle, and see the room that they're going to be in, the rooms that they'll end up in, to meet our family. Because I see this as being a merging of two cultures, two families, and you've got a big family, all of whom are interested in America. And if you can come over, it would just be lovely to show you our friends, our church, and experience a bit of our culture because you've been very kind to me. Uh, I slept in your house uh, and I've seen uh, the, the, the area you live in, so you need to come and sleep in my house and see the area that I'm in and then let us just help you in any way we can uh, with your culture, with the village and let's inspire many other people to foster, even adopt or just help mending kids uh, Rick Hodes and Brahano Habtu. Now, just as we close this, you said to me the other day you wanted just to say a special thank you to Caroline Nickel because it was her that started all of this and to Rick Hodes. Yes. So can you just say whatever you want in this last uh, minute of our video and just express any feelings you've got for the surgical team at Children's Hospital LA, uh, for Mending Kids, for Karen, who's just been here tonight, and she dropped Brahano off and picked up another two that are on the way to LA to be repaired. So how, do you, how can you express your thanks? And I think uh, I have no words to express uh, uh, my feeling, so words cannot be described how to uh, thank. So uh, I say for uh, your family, uh, and God bless you. God bless you, my friend. Yeah, God bless you. You're a good man, and it's good. <laughs> it's just good that we've documented this. Thank you. And in the history of Maza and Brahano, uh, they will watch this video, and their culture, their roots, where they came from, will not be forgotten. And we'll do all we can to help uh, you and your family, and just be there and support you in any way we can. God bless you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you for your invite.